I got the bird that I've been trying to film since the last trip that I was here. What's up everybody? I am back at Monroe Mountain, my favorite place on the planet. We're going to go birding, obviously. We're going to new locations this time. Got the tent set up in the background here. We're gonna see some amazing birds. So let's enjoy this camping trip and see what birds we can find. What's up everybody? It has been unfortunately super windy here the last couple days. Winds reaching 20 miles per hour, 30 mile per hour gusts. Absolutely insane. Not great for birding obviously as the birds are gonna hunker down during that weather. But we are on a ride right now. Maybe we'll see some birds on this trip. If not, I'm going on a hike tomorrow where we should most definitely see some birds. So I'll keep you updated and we'll see what birds we can find barring the conditions that we have here currently. Just been on a short little hike on a trail called Sawmill Road. They used to lay down logs because there was natural springs that would run through the road and it would make it super boggy so horses and people would get stuck. So they'd lay down these logs so you could cross over it safely. And obviously that made for a really rough road. The sign over here actually says that it was so rough it would loosen people's uh, teeth fillings as well. So it's pretty fun to go on that old road. Unfortunately, it hasn't been cleared in a while by the park service, the, the forestry service. So there was a ton of trees falling over the trail. We couldn't make it very far, but it was fun to go down that trail. We're gonna head down to this lake called Hunts Lake real quick. See if we can find some birds there and I'll keep you updated. Hunts Lake is absolutely beautiful. This is the first time I've been here. I've driven past it a lot from that angle up above that you saw earlier. And it's an absolutely beautiful lake. Unfortunately, again, the wind is really, really strong. So the birds are hunkered down right now. We didn't get to see actually hardly any birds there. I didn't get any on camera either. So today might just be an explore day and tomorrow might be a bird day. But we're doing our best to find birds. It's also that time of year. And there's not a lot of bird action. So again, I'll keep you updated. Let's see what birds we can find. Made it back home and we did pick up a bird on our way back on that trail. We picked up some turkey vultures. Those birds are super, super cool. If you didn't know, turkey vultures will vomit as a defense mechanism to keep predators and other threats away from them. So if you don't want to be vomited on, don't go near turkey vultures. Pretty awesome birds. So glad we didn't get skunked. We saw some really cool stuff on that trail back there. But yeah, we're gonna probably have some chili. It's cold and it's windy. Tomorrow morning, we're waking up super early. Should see a ton of birds for tomorrow. So stay tuned. I'll keep you updated. Up here, hiking on a game trail. Good morning, everybody. Woke up super early around 6 a.m. with my dad to try to go find some elk. And we'll get to that in a minute. But yesterday before sunset, I saw a mountain chickadee hanging around camp. Got quick glimpses of that. And then we headed up to Monroe Peak. It's the highest peak in the Monroe Mountain area at a, just over 11,000 feet. So watch the sunset up there. That was absolutely beautiful. Now this morning, we're out here. I'm obviously looking for birds. I'm always looking for birds. But we saw 37 elk, 37 elk on the ridge, some big bulls in that group as well. I'll let you guys enjoy this elk footage for a few moments.
just picked up a dark eyed junko. Sorry, the footage is a little shaky. Like I mentioned before, it's super windy up here. And so it's hard to hold that camera still, but got the dark eyed junko to add to our list. We'll see if we can pick up a few more birds as we hike back to the vehicle. The sun's up, so the birds are out a little bit more. Let's see what we can find. Just picked up some red breasted nut hatches to add to today's list. We're starting to pick up the species here as we move along. That's exactly what I wanted. Let's see if we can find something else. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. Town. I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare got the bird that I've been trying to film since the last trip that I was here. I heard them last time and I saw them fly over, but I didn't get them on camera until today. Again, I heard the bird fly over and I said, I gotta go try to get this. So I ran out to the road and there it was, a red crossbill up in the tree. My best views ever of a red crossbill. They're very nomadic, so they don't sit still for very long. This one sat on the tree for about five minutes and allowed me to film it. The lighting wasn't the best, but you're still able to see its colors. It's absolutely amazing. It has that specialized bill that crosses at the end to help it break open those tough pine nuts. So absolutely amazing bird. Super happy we got that on camera. That is definitely the highlight of this trip. Now, if we can get a Stellar's Day, I've heard one today. If we can get a Stellar's Day, that'll be the grand finale. Let's see if we can find one. Back home now, if you like what you see, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We do adventures two times a week. If you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links to my merch and my new membership program is in the description below. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I hope to see you all next time on Bright Eyed Birding. <laughs>